I got it. Okay, good afternoon. Wait a minute, I thought this was the energy <laughs> symposium. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you. So I need your good energy because um, I'm all about shift. So I wanna step over here and make sure you all can still hear me. Yes, okay, perfect, thanks guys. I'm nervous. I'm not normally nervous, but let me tell you why I am nervous. It's that good nervousness. It's those butterflies. We've heard today about your gut. What, what about your gut? Your gut is actually connected to parts in your brain that says that's a good decision, that says fight or flight. So that's why I'm nervous, because I've been listening. I've been listening intently. And who, who I've been listening to has been dynamic speakers. What do you all think? Right? So I'm going to try to do a rundown before, before I get started, because this is critical. So this is what I heard. I heard that it's about who you be, not just what you do, which is great because I'm all about being a human being, not just a human doing. I heard that leaders who lead everyone else sometimes are afraid, sometimes have an imposter syndrome even about themselves. I heard perspectives of energy, perspectives. We did a, a look at who we are through our why. You all remember that? Our why. And I love Simon Sinek who talks about our why. I heard that a title is just that, a title. You get to be whoever you want to be. I also heard about inter intuition and everything is figure outable. I heard about helping girls, being a change agent, a few questions regarding generations, which is pretty great because I happen to be a generational change expert. So I'll get right into my presentation. There was a question about some stats, so let me share this with you. More women, better energy. 94% say that diversity of thought and experience, let me say that again, diversity of thought and experience, not just our gender, not just our race, diversity of thought and experience are the key to navigation, navigating disruption in this industry. You all believe that? Okay, y'all know I need your energy now, come on. <laughs> all right, we believe that. Did you also know that 98% say that this is the time, now is the time. We're going not into a new year, but a new what? Decade, era. Did you all realize 2020 is a new decade? So now is the time. 98% say now is the time for a change in the energy sector. 73% agree that we need to do more, we, we're putting ourselves in it, to attract, promote, and retain women in leadership and only 24% of women between 16 and 35 are millennials, I speak millennial by the way, find energy jobs to be appealing. We just heard about that with the panel and ExxonMobil. So those stats are pretty staggering. Presentation? Clicker. Thank you. Oh, perfect. So that's a little bit about me. And I put it in visuals because this is my why. Why am I here? Why do I do what I do? I do what I do because family. That's who I be. I be a family person. I be a person who cares about others. I be a person who wants to make a difference and be the change that I want to see. Are you that person? I be a person who was at Notre Dame before it burned with my family, those are my siblings, I'm the oldest of five and I share that with you because my parents are not there. My parents are not there because stress, 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 the thing that we all know and what we deal with every single day, unfortunately my parents passed away at 57 years old. 
So who I be is when I say I care, I care. I be an executive coach. I be a change agent for the organization, not just the system, but the people within it. Oh, that was so powerful when I heard that today. So powerful. Not just the system, but the people within it. So let's talk about the people within it because that includes you. So what is energy? There are so many definitions of energy. So many. My question to you is when you think about your own energy, what does that look like? The strength and vitality required for sustainable physical or mental activity is the one that we're focusing on today. Because we've heard a lot of do this, we've heard a lot of this is what I would suggest, we heard a lot of great, awesome, amazing advice and experiences. But how do you take this home with you? How do you go back to your career? How do you go back on the road processing? How do you implement this for you? That's the reason why we're focusing on your own energy. So I want to ask, what's your current state? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Britt, was that you? Of course. What's your current state? OK, I'll go a little faster. Your current state, I want to know how many of you are at about a five right now? OK, look around. Anybody at a nine? Other than me. <laughs> All right, anybody on the two? Current state, come on, y'all, let's be honest. Two, three, you drove in a little dreary weather. So I'm asking that because guess what? You get to change your state at any given time or space, like literally that is what you get to do. So how do we do this? How, what is shift? What is that? So has anyone ever heard of uh, IQ or EQ? What about AQ? AQ is the adaptability quote. AQ is how we shift. AQ is how you process what you're really dealing with in the moment, in your current state. Your AQ helps you to realize, I am the change that I want to be, and I'm doing this for an industry, but what about me? So my definition of shift is a mixed reality of experience of chaos, change, and transformation. Of who? People, culture, organizations, through improving soft skills. That's the how. What else is shift? Developing AQ adaptability. Why? For more effective humanness. You all get that? More effective humanness. A part of my background is I'm a Lean Six Sigma guru. I love it. I love this stuff. Lean Six Sigma, we focus on time, cost, and quality. I just apply it to humans. We don't get to leave ourselves out. How do you shift? See yourself. I ask, what is your current state? We raised our hands, processing where we are. How do you see yourselves? When you're in a meeting, and I'm checking my time, when you're in a meeting, how are you there? How do you get yourselves present? Do you all know how to meditate, practice, practice mindfulness, getting yourself present, being honest? about where you are. If you're not feeling your best, say that. The other thing that I heard today was mentorship. Like you all had my whole presentation down. <laughs> so how do you shift? Get some help. You don't have to be the only one helping everyone else. I asked Dr. Valentini, what can I do to help you? You're helping all of us put this together. What can I do to help you? I would not be here if it were not for Katie, where is Katie? Katie is with Pink Petrol in Houston. Katie helped me with those stats. And she connected me to Dr. Valentini. Our Quella Hargrove this morning was the diversity speaker. That is my mentor. And guess what, I'm reaching as well. Melissa here Herman is my mentee. And you hear me get a little bit emotional there. Why? Because I'm doing what I say I want to do. If I want to be helped, I actually have to share that. I have to share the experience. And I'm aware that I'm not always my best and I'm not always perfect. But that's a part of what I share too. Is this tracking with you guys? 
All right, almost lunch, I know. Okay, so how does energy shift? How does energy shift? How do we make it shift? How, what are some of the energy shifts in the workplace? Have you all ever done yoga? Anybody, any yogis? Wow, I'm impressed. I just got back from Sedona in Arizona. Yeah, that vortex, I'm right. <laughs> I feel better. Why? Because I got centered and grounding. Remember in my previous slide, I said, who do you be? Where's your mindfulness? Are you present? Are you a human doing or a human being? Okay? Culture. We've been hearing culture in our organization. Do you have a growth mindset? Have you all heard about the, the book, Carol Dweck? Growth mindset or a fixed mindset? That's a great book if you haven't read it. Generational, generational shift. So you heard me say I speak millennial, so I want you all to pull out your phones and go to LinkedIn, turn on your Bluetooth, and I want to connect with everyone in the room by using Find Nearby. Did you know that you can do that? Right, so when I say I speak millennial, I make sure that the conversations that we're having about ourselves, the knowledge that we are able to share, that we actually use that information that the next generation is bringing in, and we leverage that. Are you all with me? So the instruction was go to LinkedIn, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, click on your people. There's like a little people icon. And at the people icon, it should, like your contacts, and it says find nearby. And I'm going to turn mine on too because I want to connect with you. In seconds, you can connect with everyone in the room if the Wi-Fi works with you. Do you all see people popping up? I have Colleen, Susan Petty. That's you? Okay. So do you see from the stage, we can connect in seconds. There's something about these people called millennials. Let's not count them out. No problem. I'm glad this is helping. <laughs> LinkedIn, go to the people icon. There's a, like a head, a bobbing head. Click on that. Uh, no, it's, it should, oh, it might be there. It might be, if you hadn't updated your phone, sometimes they'll change it around. Britt, it's you and I, it's fine, we'll talk. <laughs> Find nearby is what you're looking for. And the other thing, really quickly, because I know it's lunchtime, and we can connect after lunch, is there is a barcode. Everybody has a QR code. Everyone has a QR code. You don't have to type anybody's name in again. If you have LinkedIn and they have LinkedIn, you have a QR code and I can show you how. It's in that little search bar, it's a little four square. You click on that, that's the QR code. So my question to you all, is this helping? No? I should get off the stage? Is this helping? Okay, what have we learned? Shout it out. What did we learn? Connecting, all these people are connecting. We got that, what else? What about your shift? Tell me something about shift that you learned. Mindfulness, what else? Offering help, ask for help. What else? Say that again. AQ, adaptability. How high is your adaptability quotient? What did we learn about our stats in women in energy? Are they good or are they bad? We're here, so they're great, and we're gonna make them better. You all about that? I would ask that you connect with me. I also have the 48 laws of shift. The first of four within the series, your personal shift. I have a link that you can click on that and sign into, and I can also show you how LinkedIn works so that you can speak millennial too. Thank you so much.